The way let's it's uh, too late. it's just too late. Yeah, no, I we we both agree on that. Let's uh, let's talk about this really quickly. We got the full college football scheduling models for everybody, like every conference other than the MAC. Uh, let me toss this up on the screen here. Uh, Chris, you won't be able to see it, but everybody else will. It's going to cover us up. But the SEC, 10 conference games. They're starting September 26th. We think it's ridiculous, but whatever. Uh, the Big Ten is starting September the 3rd. And they, of course, 10 conference games. The ACC is doing a 10 plus 1. Now, we didn't know exactly how they were going to do the plus one, but Will said SEC, ACC looking for cream puffs. No, 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 no. That's The ACC might be. I mean, it was rumored today that Miami is going to be hosting UAB for their non-conference game, um, which it confused me. But either way, the ACC starting on September uh, the 7th, or the week of September 7th, so probably September 12th weekend is what they're going to do, so the week after Labor Day. Uh, the Big 12 has not decided when they are going to start, but they are doing nine conference games plus one non-conference. The Pac-12 is doing 10 conference games. They are starting September 26th. The AAC is doing eight plus four, and they are allowed to start week zero. Uh, Sun Belt eight plus four, which is eight conference games and four non-conference. They are starting up opening weekend. The Mountain West is doing eight conference plus two non-conference. And Conference USA, eight conference plus four non-conference. So the smaller conferences are are getting in their inventory. Other than the Mountain West, um, who is doing ten games, but they're doing two non conference, and we don't know when they're going to start yet. Uh, this is a complete and total hodgepodge. Uh, we've talked forever about how there should be a college football czar of some sort, but man, give give me your thoughts here about just how incredibly different nearly every conference is at this point. I mean, it's just, I'm okay with every conference doing their own thing. We've talked about this. Yeah. I, you know, I don't, this is a one-off weird year. What I don't like is, is certain conferences starting later. They're given some weird reasonings. I think their reasonings are flawed, highly flawed. I think it's because they're just not prepared. They're not ready. And, you know, shame on them for not being ready. They're highly compensated. They decided to take their high compensation and sit on their ass during this thing while everybody else was still working and trying to figure this stuff out. Um, but you know, I don't know. I mean, it's just a schedule and these, we got what we got and you know, the Mac is the only one that hadn't given us one and that's it. Yeah. We, we were trying to figure out if it was going to be conference only basically for everybody. Um, I mean, it basically is. I mean, my question it, it is, is for is, the power fives, but, but for the group yeah. of five, they're, Hey, all systems go. Let's uh, let's get after it. You know, I was I was a little bit surprised by that. That were you at all? Yeah. No, I mean they didn't. They need the money. Yeah, I mean it, it, I'm going to bet UAB is not going to Miami for nothing. Oh no, you're you're 100 percent right about that. You're 100 percent right. Yeah, that's that's one of the ACC's rules is that uh, if you're going to play a non-conference game, it has to be played in your home state or or in your home uh, state arena. And because that's what I was confused on it. When I saw that they were going to play UAB, I was, you know, Hey, they're not from in the same state. Like, what are we talking about? But it was basically, they're going to have to travel to you. And these smaller schools are like, Hey, sign me up. Let's go. Yep. Yep. So, and I, I don't, 